back in the 1957, it was not a very uh, nurturing uh, environment. At that time, it was sort of every person for him or herself. Um, you know, the idea was bring in students, see who could swim. The ones who couldn't swim uh, went somewhere else. The ones who weren't that interested in what they were doing went somewhere else. And I think today, it's much more about collaboration. It's more about helping. And uh, I think that actually that's what this center is all about. One of the things that's been found um, over the past two decades or so is that uh, engineering students, even the best and the brightest students, tended to fall away from engineering even after the first year. So getting them involved with engineering right away instead of you know just taking the regular math and science courses that you start out with generally giving them hands-on experience with engineering which is what we can do with the learning center uh, will really help them to persist and stay in engineering one of the big weaknesses is that a lot of students don't have any engineering courses in their first year uh, because the curriculum tends to be very challenging and it helps if they can get to know other students and they can work together on problems they need a sense of place. They need to feel like they belong to the university. This is a big place, so they need to get to know other people. And when they run into difficulty, they need to have a place they can come for help. It's great. I mean, I just got done with the student who needed some help and letting him know that he can go get a tutor from four to eight every day or go talk to other students because he just had a simple problem, but it took him an hour at home. And I'm like, well, if you're in here, that's only 10 minutes. So you're going to save yourself time because someone's going to instantly see that you had a typo. Until this time, the, the first year students have been very much scattered and haven't had a, a home. So this really represents something of a home for the first year students. Yeah, we're four weeks into the semester and there is a huge amount of traffic through here. There's lots of very comfortable seating places where students can come together and they can work and this place is busy five days a week. It's wonderful. Well, the space is really nice. I like the the feel of the room, it's, I don't know, it's a nicer place to study. It's good and I lead a learning community, so it's a good place for us to meet and uh, really do our stuff weekly. The freshman class we have right now is around 800 students and we get to break them out into smaller groups so they get to know some students. Uh, we also have the ability to do some hands-on things that you wouldn't be able to do with a class that size. Uh, one of the features of the facility that we have now built is that the faculty offices are close by to where the classrooms are and there's even a, a lounge area where students and faculty uh, can get together and, and uh, meet and talk. The, the vision behind the center is that it will enhance collaboration. And you look at the way people learn today, the way people deal with each other, especially the younger people, it's all about communication, it's all about connection. And that's really what I think the center represents, is a great opportunity to connect people, bring together alumni, bring together faculty and the students in one environment and let each person learn from another. Like we just had a lab and I asked the TAs, how do students get through this lab? Because it takes, you know, almost the full time. And they said, well, the, the ones that are working in groups are getting farther along. The ones that are sitting by themselves and, you know, maybe not thinking they need the group were having trouble. So then I encouraged them to get in the groups. And next thing you know, they're getting farther along in that two hour window. So. What we're hoping is that, that students are more successful, that, that, that we retain more of the freshmen, um, that they stay within our college rather than transferring to other colleges. That's what we hope to see. But I do believe that the facility will help us uh, as a recruitment tool, and I believe that it, it will eventually show up as an increase in our graduation rate. I think that the, the development of the Learning Center is, is probably the single biggest development in undergraduate education in the college since Dean Herman Schneider uh, invented co-op in 1906. It provides the best opportunity to ensure success. You know, investing in something like this really does allow me to feel that we're, we are affecting the lives of literally thousands of students for many, many years. Uh, I, I think the Learning Center is going to be one of those places. It's, it's going to be embedded in the minds of all the students. I'm sure it's going to be a very uh, you know, warm place in the hearts of our students going forward.